What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Jacob Lining Kugel Brewing Company, and they are headquartered in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and this is their summer shandy. So they're calling this one a vice beer with a natural lemonade flavor, and on the side of the label it also says vice beer brewed with honey with a natural lemonade flavor. Comes in at 4.2% alcohol by volume, 11 IBUs, and at the time of review, I don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but it does have a best by date of September. 11th of 2023. We're about two and a half months away from that date, so we should be fine. Now, today is Tuesday, July 4th of 2023, which of course is Independence Day here in the United States of America. Earlier today, I posted a 4th of July inspired beer, which was a uh, heavily fruited sour that tried to mimic a, a rocket pop or bomb pop or firecracker, or whatever you want to say. So now I'm reviewing the first shelfy beer of the month, and it is Line and Kugel's Summer Shandy. So this is a classic uh, beer in the U.S., especially when it comes to like shandies, uh, kind of put Line and Kugel's on the map. And I haven't had this beer in over 10 years. I've had some variants over the past 10 years, but I haven't had this one. And uh, I've always enjoyed this one to some degree. It's never been amazing, but you know, for something that is basically half lemonade and half vice beer, it's always been pretty good. Now this. Uh, label was beat up. It was the only one that was left. I got this at a uh, Wegmans uh, grocery store, their mix of six section. This was the only one left. And I was like, whatever. It, this kind of is the epitome of shelfy beer reviews. You never know if you're going to get them fresh. You don't know you know, what the label's going to look like. So it, it's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, we're going to pour this one into the Samuel Adams glass because why not? And this, you know, definitely looks like lemonade mixed with a vice beer. Oh man. Carbonation is through the roof, almost soda pop esque. Honestly, it kind of, you know, looks like it should, if we're being honest here. This is a super cloudy yellow-orange color. It's more like a yellow color here, more orange at the top. Has about a two-finger uh, soap sudsy, bright white uh, colored head. Hold it up to the light. That, I mean, just let's be honest here. This beer for a Shandy looks absolutely fantastic. It does. It looks phenomenal. Like, I want to just crush this. It looks so inviting. It just looks like a dirty lemonade. That's what it looks like. <laughs> anyway, let's get those. Lemonade, yep, lemonade flavor, uh, real lemonade, whatever. Yeah, it has like, you know, it has like a lemonade, like kind of like your country time lemonade, the powder and stuff, right? Which is fine by me. I'm not expecting some kind of like, you know, craft lemonade in here. Although I've had some like fantastic lemonade before, but I'm just saying this kind of smells like a country time or something. And that's all I'm getting. Tons of lemon. There might be a little bit of like a base, like weediness from the vice beer, but I'm not, if there's any kind of like, by the way, far, around the 4th of July in my neighborhood, a uh, week or two before the 4th of July, a week or two after the 4th of July, people, doesn't matter if it's 9 o'clock at night or 2 in the morning, they're just, hey, let's you know shoot off fire, uh, fireworks. Cool. But yeah, this is very simplistic. It smells super refreshing. It's a lemonade through and through, and the base beer is getting kind of lost, but as is the case with these summer shandies and these shandies in general from Wine and Kugels, that, that's usually how it is. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Now the taste, it's not full on lemonade. It's not as sweet as a real lemonade. And it's definitely, the sweetness is broken up by that base vice beer. It's really refreshing. It's nothing amazing, um, but like on a very hot or warm summer day and you're grilling or maybe you're by the pool, maybe you're at a barbecue, this would hit the spot when it's like 85, 90 out or in some places now in like Texas where it's like a hundred plus. Like, it would definitely do the trick. Body's higher side of light, lower side of medium, so 4.2%. It is what it is. It's going to be a little bit light and watery, but not over the top. The uh, mouthfeel, it, while it is crisp and effervescent, has a close to moderate carbonation. It has a smoothness on the palate. A smoothness, a smoothness, if I could speak, but I can't. A smoothness, a smoothness. We're just going to say smooth. I, this has a smoothness on the, uh, on the palate. It's just a beautiful smoothness. Almost a slight creamy sensation too. Really nice mouthfeel. The taste, this is not where I'm gonna sit here for five minutes and breaking down the taste of this one. Omnipresent, lemonade, country time with like the, the sweetness dialed back, omnipresent throughout the palate, everywhere. There's an underlying vice beer quiet, kind of quality, has a weedy sensation. I'm getting maybe like a slight like coriander tinge on the back while it's mostly, um, you know, this is moderately sweet on the palate. But on the back, it dries out. This is full on dry. There's no bitterness, but it has a nice dryness on the back, kind of mixing with that coriander or what I think is coriander. 
Very easy to drink. Absolutely nothing wrong with this one. Um, is it my favorite, you know, Shandy? No. Um, does it get the job done? Yes. I think I might actually buy this again. No, I'm thinking about it. Um, it's nothing amazing, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and scream from the rooftops and be like, oh, you got to try some Summer Shandy from Line and Kugels. If you've never had it, try it out. It's been out for a very long time. Line Kugels has been around for a very long time. And this beer is, I, this is a beer that some of my friends do enjoy. I should try out some of the variants. Um, I, I had, I think, the grapefruit variant in the past, and maybe one other. I did see the peach one I didn't pick up, but why not? You know, maybe I'll pick a couple um, couple more up before the end of summer and give them a go because this is the perfect time to drink this. Is this, like I said, a, a top shelf, you know, absolutely amazing beer? It is not, but it's refreshing. I enjoy it, and I could see how somebody would love this beer. If you're into lemonade flavors or lemon flavors, and you want something light and crushable, yeah, pick this one up. Anyway, the uh, Summer Shandy from Line and Kugels, I have absolutely no issues. I'm going to give this actually a high 3.75. I'm going to go 3.8 out of 5. I mean... This almost gets as good as a score as the uh, Drippy... You know what? F it. I'm going to give it a 3.85. I like this just as much as the Drippy Popsicle Rocket Pop, a $6 can of a heavily fruited sour I had from Abomination earlier. And this, I think, when we talk about price and availabilities, is a lot cheaper. So, yeah. 3.85 out of 5. I enjoy this. Whatever. Um, price point availability... I got this in a uh, mix of six location at a local Wegmans grocery store. Those are $12.99 six packs, so I paid just over two bucks for that. That's actually a little bit pricey, considering that in my neck of the woods, I think these are like $8.99 a six pack, and I think you can get like a 12 pack for like 15 bucks. So that's a great deal. And like I said, I just had that Jerry Popsicle at $6 for a 16 ounce can. You can almost get an entire six pack for that, like just a couple bucks more. So um, I think the price point availability is good for what it is. And availability, it's Line & Kugels. You should see this wherever you see Line & Kugels because this is like their flagship, their staple. I'm pretty sure like this is available from like February to like October. Like it's just, I think it's maybe, I think it's not available maybe in like November December and January, like so into into winter, which makes sense. But like outside of that, you can pretty much get it whenever. And yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to go drink the rest of that probably in about five minutes off camera and not hate my life. So anyway, if you've had this one before or any of the variants, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about them because um, this is definitely better than I remember. Maybe just I appreciate something like this more than I did back when I was first trying all the different craft beers because I didn't dislike it back then. But I think back then my palate wanted more sweetness. In this, while sweet, it's not like crazy sweet. Like this does, again, it's not like a like a full sugar lemonade. It's a full sugar lemonade cut with a beer. And I think that is a true representation in my glass is what I just said. So and I don't get the honey either. Like they, they say honey. Not really. No, not really. Just like a generic kind of malt sweetness. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers. Oh yeah, 4.2%. You can't taste it. And you shouldn't. And I don't think I ever will. Cheers.